Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. Just a quick heads up before I kick off, I may not be able to produce a video next week due to other obligations. Uh, the same with the uh, consecutive weeks of September 2nd and September 9th. However, I will be producing a video the week of August 26th and will return to my normal weekly uh, production schedule starting the week of uh, September 16th. I do apologize in advance for these interruptions, but I must prioritize other matters in my life for those three weeks. Now, I am probably going to sound pretty uh, monotonous to most of you with this video, but I still feel that sharing this sort of information is important, especially given the sea of hate that vegans are being bombarded with of late. I feel it is good to add this sort of data to our arsenal and reference it as needed. And perhaps for some of the newer vegans watching this, this will offer you some reassurance. In any case, the paper I am reviewing was published in April of 2018 in the Journal of Nutrition. The authors had analyzed the data of 11,879 participants aged between 20 to 80 years, who were all part of the third National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. Researchers wanted to investigate associations between plant-based diet indexes and all-cause and cardiovascular disease mortality in a nationally representative sample of U.S. adults. The researchers had excluded any folks with a history of stroke, heart attack, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and or chronic kidney disease at baseline. This brought the initial sample size of 17,287 down to 11,879. In other words, eliminating 5,408 participants from the final analysis for not meeting standards. Food intake for each participant was measured and food items were categorized as animal products or healthful plant foods such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, or less healthful plant foods such as sugar-sweetened beverages, sweets, and desserts, potatoes, and refined grains. The researchers also controlled for margarine intake due to the potential for trans fat content. Furthermore, participants were adjusted for age, sex, ethnicity, calorie intake, education, federal poverty level, marital status, smoking status, physical activity, alcohol consumption, BMI, baseline hypertension, serum cholesterol, kidney function, and menopausal status. To summarize the conclusion, the researchers found that an adherence to a healthy plant-based diet, specifically, was associated with a lowered risk of all-cause mortality in U.S. adults. And to reiterate, healthy plant-based foods included but were not limited to uh, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. But on a side note, even if you do primarily consume healthy plant-based foods, you can err uh, dietarily by other means, such as inappropriate macro intake, like consuming too little fat and or protein. So just keep that in mind. And on that note, back in 2016, I did a comprehensive video on the importance of dietary fat. I recommend that you check it out. It is linked below. But back to the study's results, while they only provide a strong correlation between uh, consuming a healthy plant-based diet and a lowered risk of death from all causes, we are still seeing the same sort of correlation time and again in the research. For example, we have numerous systematic reviews and meta-analysis demonstrating a myriad health benefits from plant-based dieting, including lowered risk of obesity, hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. Thus, I feel it would be foolhardy to disregard the large body of data that we do possess simply because correlation does not imply causation. Nonetheless, further, especially long-term research, would be beneficial. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below, and uh, that includes any hate. Uh, I do predict that the anti-vegans and uh, carnivores will be out in full force in the comments section, like clockwork. Not that their vitriolic campaign appears to be having the effect that they desire on the general public, especially when you look at the data that I presented in my recent video titled The Truth About the Vegan Agenda. In fact, quite an opposite trend is occurring to what the anti-vegan and carnivore crowd would want. And don't forget to like and share this video if you've found it interesting, especially if you feel that it should reach a larger audience. Uh, just because YouTube won't promote my videos doesn't mean that you can't. 
Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already and press the bell button for notifications. And check back here weekly as all three avenues will help ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. Furthermore, check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon and my Patreon and Subscribe Star pages, uh, and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And that includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen on my clients pictured here. Really, there are a lot of ways that you can show your support. I am almost entirely demonetized and YouTube rarely promotes my work, so I must rely on you, my viewers, to keep going and growing. Uh, so if you'd like to see me continue actively producing content, your support is very welcomed and much appreciated, uh, especially as I inevitably need to replace um, or upgrade equipment and software to aid in creating these videos. And your support could literally be as simple as using my Amazon Associates links, uh, which are in the description, uh, while you shop on Amazon. Uh, that costs you nothing additional, but I'll see a small commission from your purchases instead of everything going to Amazon. Uh, thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.